Poor attenders are highly disruptive, they drain our patients and dent the morale of other team members who need to cover absentees. An early intervention can quickly solve an absence issue, but managers often avoid dealing with the problem, perhaps because they're busy or they don't have the confidence, maybe they think it's going to turn into a battle. The longer it drags on, the more a pattern of poor attendance becomes the norm rather than the exception. Typical symptoms of an unnecessarily poor attender are various different sickness absence excuses, like flu, cold, sore back, upset tummy and so on. There's no underlying or linking cause. Monday, Friday, sunny day, sports day or payday patterns are another indication. And of course, if their total absences are frequently more than four or five days a year, which is around the private sector average, that's another reason. To deal with absence, we must first investigate it with the employee. That doesn't need to be too formal. We don't need to schedule an investigation in advance, but some preparation is required. At the very least, we'll need a list of absences, dates and reasons. We'll need a comparison with other employees' absence rates. And if you use return to work forms, then the investigation may be the return to work meeting itself. The investigation phase is just to identify whether a disciplinary hearing or indeed some other action is required. The investigation meeting shouldn't turn into a disciplinary hearing. That's a common mistake made by many employers. If a disciplinary hearing is necessary, the employee should be given a couple of days to prepare for it. And of course, we have a series of videos covering disciplinary hearings, so I won't go into more detail on those in, that, in this video. The main point is that there are clear, well-established processes for dealing with absence issues, and if you do deal with it, they do tend to go away. Absence management is easier, of course, if you use return-to-work interviews routinely. But even if you don't, you should still deal with the problem. Absence issues like minor misconduct or poor performance can be easily addressed if you intervene early. When it comes to dealing with absence, a stitch in time really does save nine.